हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम टू आवर चैनल इलेक्ट्रिकल टेक्नोलॉजी एंड इंडस्ट्रियल प्रैक्टिस सो टुडे वी हैव कम विथ अनदर न्यू टॉपिक फॉर मोर वीडियोस लाइक दिस प्लीज सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आइकन टू गेट द लेटेस्ट नोटिफिकेशंस एंड प्लीज लाइक आवर वीडियो शेयर आवर वीडियोज विद योर फ्रेंड एंड कॉमेंट इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट और इफ यू वॉन्ट आस टू मेक वीडियो ऑन एनी स्पेसिफिक टॉपिक so let's begin the video so hello everybody we are back with our uh, part 2 of the relay coordination and uh, relay co relay setting coordination video so this sld is known to you already i have explained this sld in my previous video and uh, this is the protection video so in this video this is the protection sld and in this video i will discuss about the settings of the earth fault relays that is 51 n lv 50g 50 n hv1 51 ns 51 n and 51 ns hv2 okay so let's begin the part 2 relay coordination and under earth fault condition okay so this is the uh, relay settings uh, cons uh, this is the condition when the, there will be an earth fault at the bus 2 that is low voltage bus okay so phase fault current at bus 2 is as calculated earlier also that is 40.91 kilo ampere since the neutral is solidly earth so earth fault current will be more or less equal with the phase fault current okay so how the earth fault current will flow it will come to the faulty phase of the transformer to the fault point and it will return to the neutral by this earth earth terminal okay so for the sake of convenience we will consider phase fault current as equal to earth fault current okay so that is 40.91 kilo ampere and whenever there is fault in 6.6 kv side since the 6.6 kv transformer 33 by 6.6 kv transformer is earthed by a 40 uh, has been restricted by an ngr restricting the fault current at 400 ampere so the maximum fault current will be 0.4 kilo ampere right it will not be higher than 0.4 kilo ampere that is 400 ampere okay so earth fault current is 400 ampere now let us see what will be the criteria for earth fault relay settings uh, when the fault is at lv side uh, settings of 51 n shall be based on 40.91 kilo ampere fault current and settings of 51 ns will be also based on the same fault current okay so this two relays 51 ns and 51 n this two relay will be uh, set based on the 40.91 kilo ampere that is earth fault current at 415 volt side okay and we have considered pick up of both this relay as 120% of the 2.5 mva transformer full load current at 433 volt side right and pick up of 51 ns is also 120% both the pick up has been considered same and operating time of 51 n has been considered as 0.5 second and operating time of 51 ns has been considered as uh 2.25 second higher than 0.5 second that is 0.75 second right okay so settings of 51 in lv will be uh see 120% of the transformer full load secondary current right transformer full load secondary current is 3333.53 ampere so pick up will be you can see 120% of the that current by ct ratio that is 1 okay so psm is 10.23 as calculated and relay operating time is calculated as uh, relay operating time is 0.5 seconds so tsm shall be calculated uh, tsm has been found as 0.17 right so settings of this relay is uh, pick up is 1 and tsm is 0.17 now we will check the settings of 51 ns right pick up will be similar 120% of the uh, transformer secondary full load current that is 1 i mean uh, dividing by the ct ratio it has been found as 1 and psm is again 10.23 since the fault current and pick up current both are same 
and relay operating time is 0.75 seconds so TSM will be 0.25 right you can check this calculation okay I have I am explaining only the principle of the relay settings now we will go to the high voltage relay settings okay so for high voltage the art fault current is 400 ampere so 50 G will be uh, settings of 50 G will be 55 percent of 400 ampere that is pickup will be 5 percent of 400 ampere settings of 50 N will be again 5 percent of 400 ampere and pickup of 51 HV2 has been considered as 10 percent of the NGI rating that is 400 ampere and pickup of 51 NS has also been considered as 10 percent of the NGI rating that is 400 ampere okay so this two relays this two instantaneous relay 50 G and 50 N has been set as uh, pickup has been set as 5 percent of 400 ampere whereas this two inverse time earth fault relay that is 51 N and 51 NS pickup has been set as 10 percent of the uh, NGI rating okay and operating time let us see how the operating times are considered 50 G operating time has been considered as instantaneous 0 0.05 second 50 N has been considered slightly higher that is 0 0.1 second and 51 N 51 N that is HV2 51 N this relay has been considered as 0 0.35 second keeping a discrimination of 0 0.2 second and this 51 N S has been considered as 0 0.6 second right but it shall be remembered you have to remember as I explained in my previous video also that uh, this uh, relays shall be coordinated with the equipment earth fault uh, withstand capability okay so that is basically the earth fault withstand capability of the core because this all this pickup and time settings may decrease if the earth fault withstand capability of the core is not coordinating with these settings I will explain it in, in the end of the video so let's see the settings now so settings of 50 G will be pickup is 0 0.5 into 400 by CBCT ratio that is 0.4 ampere CBCT ratio is 50 by 1 and time delay is 0 0.05 second right settings of 50 N is pickup is equal to 0 0.05 into 400 by CT ratio that is 20 into 1 by 300 that is 0 0.067 and time delay is 0 0.1 second instantaneous relay has two settings one is pickup and other one is time delay okay now let us see the settings of 51 in hv2 what will be this this is 10 percent of the ngi rating so if you calculate it 10 percent of the ngi rating is 0 0.016 second when it is 10 percent of the ngi rating is of course uh, 40 ampere but when it is divided by the city ratio the pickup will be 0 0.016 right and PSM has been found as 10 mm, relay operating time has been found as based on 0.35 second relay operating time the TSM has been found as 0.12 so this relay this 51N where my mouse is pointing 51N HV2 will have a pickup of 0 0.016 and a TSM of 0.12 right so similarly we can find out the 51 ns hv2 that is pickup is 10 percent of the ngi rating 0.2 since the ct ratio is 1 by 200 psm is 10 relay operating time is 0.6 so tsm has been found as 0.2 so this relay will have a settings of uh, pickup of 0.2 and tsm of also 0.2 okay now let us see the graphs so this is the graph of this 51 n and 51 ns based on the 40.91 kilo ampere this is the 40.91 kilo ampere fault current since both the relay pickup has been set as 120 percent of the transformer full load current so these two curves will start at a same point right these two curve will be start at this point similar point and uh, this is the 51 n uh, lv pickup and T tms and uh, this is and this is for the other delay okay so time gradation is here uh, this is point uh, relay operating time is 0.5 seconds and here the relay operating time is 0.75 second so this is the coordination you can see that the coordination has been done that uh, if there is any fault at bus 2 
first this relay 51 n will operate and if 51 n fails to operate then 51 ns will operate right now we will jump to the uh, next uh, fault that is if the fault is at 6.6 .6 kb side here the fault current is 400 ampere so based on that you can see that these two instantaneous relays this 50 g and 50 n has been set as pickup of 5 percent of 400 ampere so these two pickup line are same the line is slightly inclined as i have drawn it by hand it will be parallel to this axis and you can see that the relay operating time of your 50 g is uh, 0 0.05 second and 50 n is 0 0.1 second and based on the same fault current since these two pickups are same so these two curves will start at the same point and uh, pickup of 51 n is uh, pickup i mean operating time of 51 n is 0 0.35 second and operating time of this relay that is 51 n is 0 0.6 second right so you can also check this coordination if the any fault is occurred here then first 50 g will operate then 50 n will operate then 51 n will operate and at the end 51 ns will operate right now see this will be the coordination with transformer withstand capability so 2.5 mba transformer earth fault withstand capability curve have to be here and this two relay characteristics should be set below this withstand capability okay remember this and this will be the 25 mba transformer art fault withstand capability this is the most important part of the relay settings you have to set the relays in such a way that it should always operate before the fault goes beyond the withstand capability of the equipment right so hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please like share comment and subscribe to our channel we will be back in part 3 with the lesson learned from the previous two part okay stay tuned